Hi, welcome back to the Kettle and Court Kitchen. I'm Esty Walby and today I'm gonna to show you something that must go onto your Pesach menu. This beautiful seared duck with these crispy smashed potatoes are kind of something to break up the boring meat and potatoes, chicken and potatoes, because these are potatoes like you've never had before. Today we're using a beautiful enameled cast iron pot that's really kind of budget friendly so you can add it to your Pesach cookware repertoire without breaking the bank. So we're gonna start with our side dish and today I'm using this beautiful enameled cast iron pot. Cast iron is wonderful for retaining heat. It actually comes up to temperature a little bit, it takes a little bit longer to get there but once it gets there it stays nice and hot so it's really great for searing, for braising and we're gonna boil our potatoes in here. And we're gonna heavily salt the water because potatoes crave salt. You ever have an unsalty fry? No good, so we wanna use a lot of salt in this water, potatoes can handle it, and then what we're gonna do is cover our pot so that traps the heat and helps it get to boiling temp quicker. Now we wanna bring our potatoes up to a boil and at that point you could reduce the heat a little bit and you wanna boil them for about 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on the size of the potatoes. Smaller potatoes are gonna cook much faster and the larger ones need a little bit more time. So just test them with a fork and as soon as a fork pierces through them, you're done and you can drain them off. This pot though is so incredible. They come in a variety of colors and a bunch of different sizes too. And not only do they cook really, really well, they are also beautiful on the table. They're really the most versatile pots ever. And now we're gonna start with our duck. I feel like a lot of people are afraid to cook duck, but it's actually quite simple. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And today we're gonna to be using this uncoated cast iron skillet to sear this off beautifully. What you wanna do is use a very sharp knife and make shallow slits just right through the skin. You don't wanna make contact with the flesh beneath it. Now you can really make slits any which way you choose. I like to do a cross hatch pattern, or you could just make just regular slits in one direction, but a cross hatch is in one direction, and then you rotate and make slits in the opposite opposite direction. You just want to make shallow slits through the skin to have channels for the fat to render out of because that fat is liquid gold and that's what we're going to crisp up our potatoes in. We just want to pat our duck dry so that it doesn't steam in the pan. We want it to crisp so you want it nice and dry and then you season it with some salt. and pepper. And then we can season the other side when it's already in the pan. So we're just gonna place this skin side down in a cold cast iron pan, then we're gonna turn on the heat. Okay, so now that I hear it's starting to sizzle, I lower the temp because we, we don't wanna burn it and we don't wanna overcook it. We just wanna slowly render out that fat. And you can see it's starting to pool around over here. And I can see on the edges, the skin is already getting nice and golden brown. And by the way, the smell in here is intoxicating. Okay, I see that the skin around the edges looks like it's ready to flip. Look at this beautiful pool of golden duck fat that we accumulated here. That all rendered out through those channels that we cut. Time for the big reveal. Yes! Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now it only needs like a minute or two on the other side. You don't want to overcook it unless you don't like rare proteins. If you like it cooked a little bit more, you just want to cook it more so that it's cooked through on the other side. You can kind of see the progress on the sides, or you can use a thermometer to check for doneness. We took our duck breast out of the hot pan and now it's really important to let the protein rest. You may have heard that term when you cook steak that you want the juices to redistribute. It's true for duck too. And I know that we're very, very tempted to cut into it because it looks delicious and it smells incredible. But I'm gonna keep you busy with building your side dish while the duck rests. Don't touch it. What we have here are some garlic cloves that we're actually gonna infuse the duck fat with. We're just gonna give these a nice smash. And I have some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme. You could use whatever herbs you like best. I'm gonna toss these right into. The smell is incredible. And then we're gonna smash some potatoes and I'll show you how I do it with my little trick. You take two measuring cups that are nesting. They fit one inside the other. And you take your potato, put it inside the larger one, and then with the smaller one, just press down. 
the skin is going to break and you have this beautiful flattened potato that we're gonna crisp up on each side. You can do this on your cutting board or on your countertop, but sometimes they roll around. So this is kind of my way of having everything stay in one spot. Potatoes are already cooked because we boiled them before, so really all you want to do is get a nice crisp on each side, and while they soak up that duck fat, they become, oh my goodness, just incredible. Look at this. I can't wait to eat. How beautiful is this dish? Look at the degree of doneness on the stuff. It is cooked perfectly, and that skin is perfectly crisp. And these potatoes are nice and crispy on the outside, but creamy on the inside. Your guests are not gonna be able to stop talking about this till next face up for sure. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to see more of our videos. See you next time.